G'day Tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Stemjager21 and today I'm bringing you a battle, a very good battle, in my T-34 Tier 8 American Heavy Tank. Um, what can I say about this tank? I like it, but it's, it's kind of also a love-hate relationship with it. Um, as you can see from my stats up in XVM, I've played 231 battles in it. I've only got a 44% win rate, and I barely even have one kill per death. One per, sorry, that's per game, sorry, just realised. Um, yeah, so I'm not very good in this, normally. Um, but this is quite an exceptional game. Um, teams, nothing outstanding, either of them, pretty good. As you can see, still using the, um, WN8 calculator up the top here, which is really good. I've not been having great games recently though, I've, just, I've done, I haven't been 100%. Uh, lots of different sicknesses that you uh, get from having children, which I wouldn't trade for. So, what I'll do is we'll start the, we'll start the play. And we'll speed it up a little bit. Because it's not very exciting. Uh, what's new in World of Tanks? Um, well, 9.3 is out, which is nice. New, those new light tanks seem nice. I haven't got any of them, oh, apart from the M5 Stuart on the American line. Um, I, I liked it before, I'm not so sh certain about it now. If I had a little bit more pen in that gun of it, it would be okay, I reckon, but yeah, otherwise it's just really an artillery killer at this stage. Apart from being a scout, of course. So, yeah, and I don't like what they've done to the T-49, or the, well, what's called now, it's called the T-67. It's got that ugly turret and it looks a bit weird. I, I'm thinking of selling it because I'm having good games in it still, um, so it's not a bad tank. I just don't enjoy it anymore. So, yeah, I just can't, I just can't stand to look at it. It's just ugly. Oh, well. I could have done a blind shot in that Hellcat, but I don't think there would have been much uh, games from that. I, I had to reload too. The reload was too slow on the tank. But we uh, get shot by this AMX M4. We return the favour for a nice hit. This gun's pretty cool. Like it's, it, it can really hit something quite hard. Um, let's just look at the stats for that gun. 400 average damage and the penetration is an average of 249, uh, sorry, 248, which didn't ever hit that um, M4 there. He's now one shot for us. There's one of those new M41 Bulldogs. They were all good, they were alright though, I, I quite like them. The problem is I'm not very patient when it comes to grinding. Especially when I'm finding I'm not very um, enthusiastic about grinding a particular tank. We've lost our driver, but at this stage I'm not too worried about that. We take out the M4 because, well, it's another gun out of the fight. So we've done 1200 damage so far, which is not bad. That's usually my average <laughs> game. I usually kill one tank and then die. I, I'm not very good in this tank normally, I, I tend to just do stupid things. People have been telling me to play it like the T29, I find that I can be a lot more aggressive than the T29, plus you're in a lower, you're usually at a lower tier with the T29, you're usually at tier 7, whereas this is tier 8. Armor's um, a lot better, um, you may have a better gun, but the gun fires so much slower you can't really do the crowd control. That was a lucky shot there. Um, we hit him and set him on fire. But now we, now this is where this game gets really interesting. So what we're doing now, I think this is probably a bit silly, but we're going to expose ourselves a little bit. Now, we're shooting down at the minus 6, which is good. That means his armor's flatter. There's two of them there, so we've, I've decided, right, I've gone too far, I need to get back. Uh, 
It's nearly reloaded, so we're gonna be cheeky. Gonna pop out. Do another nice hit there. Those IS sixes, um, actually, this is a good situation to be in. You're fighting downwards in this tank. That means they can't shoot your uh, turret weak spot right on top of your turret as easily. As you can see, we've taken a beating. We're we're actually getting smashed at the moment. We're not done yet. So we're fire again. But unfortunately, we uh, don't kill him. Would be nice to kill him since he's a quite dangerous little tank there. We only track him, unfortunately. I think what is most disappointing about this tank and its gun in particular is just that the aim time is really slow. I reckon if the aim time was just half a second. Better. Oh, well, they'll probably be overpowered in, in that case. Um, if 0.2 seconds fast, I mean, it doesn't wouldn't take much. Because um, I'm having a snapshot a lot in this. I currently run a, a rammer, um, vert stabilizer, and gun lane drive uh, just to deal with the um, just to deal with the really bad aim time. It's 3.4 seconds, which. In some tanks it's it's okay, but this tank just doesn't have the armor to reliably sit sit there and hopefully bounce a shot. I mean, if you're out in the open, you get penned every time because the armor on this is paper thin. You can bounce some things, but it's not it's not guaranteed. Another arty shot. Arty really had a hard on for me in this battle. They really wanted to get me. He, he unfortunately he's a Keeps missing or just splashing us a little bit for like 10 damage or so. KB4 weak spot as the big tower on top. It's actually. It took me ages to work that out. Um, and I worked it out after finding a couple of KB5s actually. I went, oh, I wonder if this is a weak spot. And it was. So yeah. It's actually quite thin. I think it's only like. Uh, it's under 200. I think it's, I think it's just, it's, I think it's around 150 or so, which is more than enough for this gun. I've tried an M4 Sherman um, Easy 8 with its little pop gun and can't pen it, pen it there, but it can pen the rear, which is good. Artie hits us again. Luckily, I've got full repairs on this thing, so um, well, almost at 99%, so we're able to um, repair the tracks quite quickly. would be a bit more aggressive in this situation, but I'm worried about being one shot and I don't really want to risk that. I'm just aiming for the top of that last 6 tower, which is a, is a very small area there where there's a weak spot, um, where you can overmatch it, which is basically if it's a... Well, if you don't know what overmatching is, it's... If your gun calibre is, I believe, twice the size of the armour, it will overmatch the armour and go through. There's that other IS-6, let's see if we can get him. No, it looks like he's, he's too far away and behind something, he's taken out anyway. And the last tank here, put a nice round into him. And he's taken out. And that's the end of the game, with 13 hits. And 4,961 damage. Um, that's, I think that's my best game in this tank, well, sorry, not just in this tank, but in terms of damage to date, um, yeah. So, and we took a lot of damage, um, and we lost the radio man, so well, what can you do? I would have liked to have he healed the radio man, but unfortunately it wasn't able to be done. Um, what could I have done differently? I couldn't, I don't know what I could have done differently. It's... I probably could have not been as aggressive when I came up over here, so through this area. I should have stayed back a bit more, but yeah, as I've said in previous videos, when I smell blood, I tend to just go, yeah, let's go for it. Um, as you can see, um, this is my average damage in this tank. Sometimes This is how bad I am with this tank. 
I'd have actually over ten times, almost oh, almost twelve times the amount of damage I've actually done in this this game, which is hilarious. Um, a nice WN8 Kelly of six thousand nine hundred and twenty, which is definitely Unicom status. I think it's even super Unicom status, um, but I'm I'm not that level, but I want to be one day, which would be nice. Um, efficiency, I don't take, pen, take much uh, notice of that. I don't think a lot of people do. If they do, please correct me. I would love to know. And explain to me why. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah. I don't think I could have done much different there. I don't, I don't, in this battle, in a heavy tank, I don't like going down here. I, I personally think it's a waste of time. Um, could have done okay down here, but we probably wouldn't have done much. It didn't look like they needed my help anyway. It looks like this is the best spot for me to be anyway. And obviously, from the damage, that is definitely it. Okay, let's uh, let's check out the post-game stats. Okay, well that was a really good game. As you can see, I've got the my mastery badge, which I've been chasing for a while. I'm really pleased about that. Um, cash earned, 142,000. 276 credits and experience earned was 1948. We got high caliber and Spartan. Um, Spartan because we took uh, one or two hits while we we're under a certain amount of health. Profit um, we got 110,985 credits profit, which was really nice. Um, it allowed me to buy my ELC, which I should hopefully have some good games in soon. Um, hit percentage. I was really surprised about this. 18 out of 18, so 100% hit hit rate. That's pretty good. We um got uh, damage assist, um, only 220, um, not that much. Um, but the damage of our, that we did ourselves was 4,961. 4, that's um, I think that's my best game to date. Um, next is details. Um, shots fired 18, all hit, 13 penetrated, um, it shows how much, how little, how few shots you actually have to do to actually do this much damage. Um, it was all fairly, um, close range, so we didn't get the sniper medal. Um, hits received, we received 9, 4 penetrations, 5 non-penetrations, 6 splash damage hits, so Artie was really going for us. Damage blocked by armor, 1,750, so the turret armor really helped us there. Um, damage caused to allies, none, which is nice. We spotted one vehicle, which is not really our role anyway. Um, enemy vehicles damaged and destroyed. We damaged six enemy vehicles and destroyed two of those. Um, damage caused to my assistance, again, 220. Um, distance traveled, 1.9 kilometers, not very far, but it doesn't matter. Um, Battle duration was 9 minutes 23 seconds. Time destruction didn't die, so it doesn't matter. Um, there was some form of mission I got. Um, oh, it's probably this destruction one thing, which is a current mission in a server. Don't pay too much attention to those. So, yeah, it's a really good game there. Um, let's just check the team out. Um, yeah, I've got two medals. As you can see, I, I did more damage than what were these? Probably, oh, yeah, these three combined. Yeah, the next top three players behind me, but combined, that's not bad. Um, and we did more damage than at least the top four there combined. Yeah, that's quite an achievement for me. I'm, I'm really pleased with that result. Even if I didn't have premium, actually. I actually would have done what had 1,299 experience, which is a massive game. Um, as you can see, my crew skills are all at 99% now, except for my radio man. But yeah, I'm not too worried about him. Um, probably gonna go, probably gonna go for uh, brothers in arms next um, on this because I've got the skills I like. Um, yeah, or I might go for some mobility stuff, so you probably increase the view range with that. We've got the view range on with that, so yeah, don't know about don't know about this one. 
we'll have to work it out because I'm not sure what to go with. Um, I'm. This is now my my money is now at zero. Um, I'm currently grinding for the um. The uh, grinding credits for the T32. I bought my pattern. Um, I sold the Pershing. I just I couldn't stand to play it anymore. I just I wasn't gonna play it again. So I just thought better it. Um, I also sold the T29. Very sadly, I. Did, uh, I begrudgingly did that, um, but I was having, I wasn't having as much fun as, it, uh, as I used to, and I thought, well, I can just buy it again later on, which a lot of people say don't sell a tank, but I don't have a lot of t as much time for tanks as I, as most people do, so I don't, I can't play every night to grind credits. Like some people, it wouldn't be as much of an issue actually if I could grind two hundred thousand credits a night, which I could comfortably do in about four or five games, especially in this tank. Um, so yeah, I don't really have that time to do that sort of thing, um, and, and I don't want to. I mean, I like having ta my tank nights just two that two two nights a week. It keeps it special and fun, and yeah. So, yeah, what else? Yeah, not much really. Um, yeah, I've, I, I've, ah, oh, anyone who is into this rally sport thing with the chaffy, good on you, but I, I personally found it so frustrating that I, I wish I could sell the tank. I'm hoping I had to keep the 100% crew, um, because that would be really nice. Um, because, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with it. 100% crew. Anyway, I'm going to finish it there. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, have a good time and um, stay safe. Um, I'll be bringing up another replay in for the T67, where I had a pretty uh, pretty good game in it. The first game after it got redone. I don't like it still, but it had a good game anyway. I'm probably going to sell it it's there at the moment. So, yeah, I just, I just can't, I can't enjoy it for some reason. Just nothing fun about it anymore. Anyway, to you guys, have fun.